We live in a yes world, but we truly look up to those who have the guts to say no, and we wish we could be more like them. Look at the author of Harry Potter. No, I won't go back into my office after my maternity leave. I want to write. Václav Havel. No, us Czechs won't bow to communism. Let's face it, the world would be a better place if people would keep their integrity and say no a bit more often. Can a brand inspire us to do so? For 117 years, Budweiser Budvar has had the guts to stick to its original values, saying no to any compromise. Like the shield on its label, its nose have protected Budvar's integrity and kept it true to itself. It said no to using cheaper ingredients. No to quickening its brewing process. No to selling its name to those Americans. And no to changing the location of the original brewery. The product campaign reminded people that these no's have defined Budvar to this day. Now can theirs inspire others? To build momentum on the subject, we got popular journalists to write articles on how important saying no is. Then TV and cinema spots were launched supporting the brand's no philosophy. They used people who had lived their lives staying true to themselves, like Jan Triska, a highly respected fighter against the establishment actor and friend of Václav Havel's. He said no to communism and fled. Jan's life story coincidentally mimics his most famous roles in The Tempest and King Lear. Zůstat v zemi, kde tyran nutí svůj lid. Rád flašku. Radši se zřeknu střechy nad hlavou a budu čelit nevraživým živlům. Říkám ne. Ať děs vezme tyrana, co mu sloužím. Ne z nás dělá to, čím jsme. Budweiser Budvar and Lukasz Pollard, an Olympic medal winner who sold his medals for charity to do something he valued more, becoming a doctor. We also wanted to help those normal people who are saying no for their cause, with the No Gallery, an independent project where influential journalists introduce stories and reportages of real Czechs who are trying to stay true to themselves. Many of the articles got picked up by the media, which helped those people get public support. It was also turned into a nationwide exhibition. And importantly, Budvar only ever appears as a supporter. The no attitude is the perfect platform for Facebook. We stimulate lively discussion and people feel pride for their no's, but often confess to being weak and we encourage them to be strong when it matters. And for a touch of humour, online we launched a great new beer, Euro B. At first glance, it seemed like the perfect beer, but it was in fact what Budvar would have become if it had said yes. This was revealed later. There were some nice numbers. Like when it came to sales, Budvar had its best year ever and is now publicly perceived as the highest quality Czech beer, well above Pilsner Urquell. But importantly, it reminded hundreds of thousands of people how important standing firm and saying no is.